Hello, this is Shinru. In this video, I'm going to introduce a project that I've been making these days. So the project is to um, first uh, extract all the IT jobs from Indeed.com and second, uh, analyze those jobs and make a dashboard using Power BI. So uh, in this video, I will demonstrate what I did for this project. So first, um, to analyze the data, I will have to have the data. So, so I create a web crawler to uh, scrap all the IT information from Indeed.com. So let's take a look of the um, code that I write. So I didn't use Selenium because uh, in, in Indeed dot com all the jobs are listed quite in a in a good form therefore I didn't use Selenium so I just used the requests to request those uh, response and get the text get the information I want and I also used a concurrent to write code in an asynchronous way so in this uh, this web crawler will um, go through all the jobs inside um, indeed.com and it will extract those titles so the so the job name uh, contains those titles it will extract all of them and after I get this um, it will extract a few different uh, parameters like job description and uh, uh, location and the company job type description and URL so it will extract all those uh, properties of the job and after I get a list uh, after I get a table of the jobs on uh, indeed.com what I did is I I put those job as uh, so I load this um, database into the Power BI and created this dashboard. So this is a dashboard that um, uh, that shows all the uh, aspect of the uh, table. So so in this dashboard, I also uh, did keyword search to search for different skill sets like um, JavaScript. .NET, MS Office, Active Director, and uh, jQuery, AngularJS, Selenium, VUE, ReactJS, and WordPress. All those uh, skills that I, th I think in, in different jobs uh, categories, so in different uh, IT job categories that you will need uh, to use those technology. Therefore, I did a keyword search in the uh, job description. And uh, so this dashboard, what I can, uh, and I also, because a lot of the jobs uh, is uh, irrelevant to IT, therefore I also did some categorization. Um, so, so I get IT job and non-IT job. So, so from the data that I sent to, uh, uh, that I loaded, on Power BI, so 27% of the jobs are IT jobs, and 72% of the jobs are non-IT jobs. And based on different uh, location, I also did some categorization and uh, different companies. So there are a lot of different companies, and uh, most of them are recruit recruitment agency so so as you can see there are a lot of uh, companies they have IT job and uh, non IT job and uh, this dashboard is quite interactive you can just click a part of the information and this dashboard will show you the relevant data so for example if you click IT other so it will show you all the uh, all the IT jobs that I haven't categorized all those data accordingly and uh, 
if I click backend developer it will show you the only the data for the backend developer and IT support it will only show you so it's quite interactive and if, if you click non IT job it will show you all those data so as you can see so the categorization is quite accurate because when I click non IT job there's no 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 skill set needed for any of those non IT jobs and for IT jobs there's all those skill set and from the analysis of this report I uh, I can see that uh, JavaScript is very popular in New Zealand and uh, another thing is you can also not only click this uh, different job category you can also click different um, you can also click different locations and it will show you both the information that related to the different location and the proportion of that different uh, uh, of that location in in different jobs so and if that's not enough you can also uh, select different uh, job types from here and you can do you can search for a full-time contract job and it will show you the the informations accordingly and you can click different and uh, job type and and you can click different job category you can click different skill set so for example if you if I want to know what jobs that need a uh, react JS experience you can see there are eight jobs in New Zealand by the time I did the the uh, web crawler scrap so at that time there are eight uh, react JS jobs and uh, and you can click all those different skill set and it will show you exactly the information you need and location and company there are a lot of companies so there's datacom it's a very uh, big industry in New Zealand so as you can see datacom is looking for a 10 IT job and 11 non IT job and by the jobs it's looking for is IT support, three IT support jobs, three front end developer job, and three IT other job and back end developer job. So as you can see, it's quite clear that it. Um, so by by looking at this, my my aim of this um, dashboard is to help those job seekers so they can they can find the uh, uh, they can they can understand the job market in New Zealand and. Uh, and they can know what skill set is uh, necessary, what skill set is popular in New Zealand job market, so they can uh, focus on studying that. So they have a they have a good understanding of the market. That's very important. So and um, and also it's a good opportunity for me to uh, to practice Power BI and uh, power bi is a very useful tool and i i learned it in my spare time and uh, i thought uh, since i learned it maybe i can use it to to help myself and help other job seekers okay that's it for the video thank you for watching bye bye